So I took the shrink wrap off this before recording, which was actually a good move because it was being really annoying and would have just wasted me a good maybe 30 seconds of friggin' video where I just did absolutely nothing. So not really so much of a master strike as it is just good planning. As opposed to poor planning. But anyways, uh, just gonna rip straight into this. Another exceeds change tactics. I think that's two of them. God, if you've seen that, if you've seen that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for real men channel, you know how silly this card can be. And considering there's freaking um, Utop and considering there's also the other couple of Utopia cards in there as well, so someone might pull one of those really funny ass gimmicky cards. Oh, hello, Apocalypse Towers. But yeah, um, yes, there's a foil behind here. I can tell. Um, but yeah, it's got those silly sort of cards with the uh, Utopias. And first movement solo. Right. Okay. It's a first movement solo. I can't say anything more about it than just... I think it is a decent card, actually, for the Melodious Archetype. Yeah, you can special summon one from the from the deck if you have no monsters. Hand or deck, actually. Uh, and there's another Cheer Mole. I'd be content to have a play set of Cheer Moles, actually, if I can. Actually, no, I already do. Because I pulled one in the last box. I pulled one in this box. And I pulled one at the Snake. Yeah, so... I already have a play set of Cheer Moles. Awesome. Punch in the box. I think this is a Yuya card. It was a pretty decent card throughout the Snake Peak. Unfortunately, I didn't pull it. Oh, oh, foil. Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Ah, that's like that two-pronged attack sort of thing. I... I want to say that I... I, I, I don't, I don't want to say that I don't rate it, but... I'm a bit eh towards the card. I mean, you can plus off of it, but it just seems a bit... A little bit sort of situational. I probably wouldn't run it in my Burning Abyss deck if I had one. But that's just me. Uh, there's another Satellite Sirius. And actually, while I'm here, since I see two copies of Valor Fawn, I'm going to set those aside. Yay! Because I need to slot those into the Raccoon deck so that it's all prepped and ready to roll for Sunday. Then I just got to do a bit of testing. There's the rare fright for there that I was that I just didn't see. So far be it from me to complain about that. The only problem is I still don't have any edge insiders. Tree sacred tree. Wait, did I just say Nichiria? Oh, because it is a Nichiria. I thought for a second it was a Clifford card. No, I, I remember it was a bloody Nichiria card. Okay. Chiamol, and another one of these. Okay. That's two of those. If they are useful, then I will be happy that I pulled them. If they are not, then Blair. So just the two supers so far. This one might not be anywhere near as grand and epic as the previous one, but we'll still keep pulling them and hopefully get something good. Like Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, for an example. Or maybe even Utopia Frickin' Beyond or Utopic Dragon. Like, give me some of that shit. I believe that that actually makes a play set of Clifford Shell. I will have a gander at that. Well, I, I, was, I was saying that with the intention of saying that, have a gander of it after, but then I'm just like, no. But yes, there is in, there is in fact a play set of Clifford Shell. Okay. Can't complain about that one. I 
I think we got another foil in here. Oh yeah, I can see it. Trampolinks and oh nice Yazi, evil of the Yang Zing. Nicely done. That's a good that's actually a pretty that's actually a pretty good secret haul. Both of which are in decks that can be relevant to the meta, so at least that's a few less dollars that I would have to spend. I mean, assuming that I'm keeping the Gresta. Because I'm still debating on that one. But they're the secrets. So unless I have this massive twist of holy shit good luck. That should be it, secret wise. Uh, let's put the fight for day in its the right way up. Okay, looks like we might have another foil here. Oh, it's the Dragon Souls Sacrifice. It's a Clifford card. Gains 300 attack up and destroy battle. Blah 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 blah. Eh. That sounds like something that they just wanted to hype the crap out of, but is incredibly crap. Anyway, I. I wouldn't. I do not believe that any th any player that would run Clifford's Clifford's would run that. So that's kind of a shitty pull. Uh, there's another cow cab. I believe that's my fourth cow cab. So that's actually now becoming uh, a bit of fodder that I can offload at locals. Uh, that's my play set of Alec. <laughs> Fusion Substitute is freaking amazing. I actually pulled one of those in the same peak, but yeah, it kind of didn't have the uh, Hedium Sabers like I might have said earlier in this segment. I mean, in this video. <laughs> uh, I think that's a play set of Sirius as well, so. That's good. I believe all I need now for the uh, Stellar Knights is uh, Trevere and my place at Deneb's. I could also do with a third alpha, but I'm not gonna be. Inc I'm not gonna fuss too much over the third uh, third alpha. Fossil dog. So what have we got so far? Three supers and a secret and an ultra. So if I'm right, there might there should be at least two more supers and possibly an ulti in here. I'd like to get an ulti. But we'll have to sit back and wait on that one. There is a foil in here though, a Master Dragon. Oh, this is the Burning Abyss Tuna. That's a bit of a money card. That's a good one. So there's that second Ultra that I was thinking might be there, but still kind of a bit doubtful on that one. I think there's four packs left, including this one. No, there's, there's a couple more than that. But yeah, definitely happy that I managed to pull the Rubik. Because that's just less money that I have to pay for the other two copies. Or, like, if you, even if people... Or, like, that's just assuming if people decide to run Triple Rubik. Because I don't know. If if Triple Rubik is not the way to go, then I'm not going to complain. Even though Virgil is still probably, like, going to be a fucking shitload of money to blow on it anyway. So, that's a thing. Unless somebody decides to focus on a Burning Abyss deck that doesn't run Dante... It's still going to be a bit of a freaking uphill battle, actually, being able to build Burning Abyss. Which is a shame, because the hell thing sort of interests me, because of my childhood playing uh, Doom and all that sort of shit, and underworldly sort of jazz and whatnot. It's kind of interesting. There is an ultimate rare in this pack. Fluffle Dog, come on. It's Yazi, isn't it? Yes! Two Yazis in the one box! 
Oh my god, that is amazing. Now, if I can offload my secret one for an ulti, that would be awesome because I have two ulti um, backseers. So if I can get two ulti Yazis, that would also be freaking amazing as well. That is actually pretty awesome. I believe that is the first time that I pulled uh, two co two copies of the same card in different rarities out of a box since I think actually Order of Chaos was the last time I did that out of a box because I'm because I remember pulling um, a number twelve Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja one of each rarity out of my Order of Chaos box. I don't think I've ever actually done anything like that since Farfel out. Oh. What super rare exceeds are they? Oh my god. Utopia Beyond. Yay! Utopia Beyond. Utopia Beyond. Utopia Beyond. Okay. Utopia Beyond. Okay. Uh, how many super rares is that? That's four. Can I finish with a fifth one? Come on. No. Okay, so only four supers from this box, but the last super was still good because it was something that I needed. And so now we will go through the pulls of this box. So there's me supers. Overall, not too bad. Two ultras, one good, one incredibly terrible. And then... Double Yazi. Not going to complain too much about the Double Yazi now, am I? So, yeah, that's it for the two boxes. I don't know if I'm going to go for a third one. I might. Yeah, just have to see what happens. But uh, in the meantime, um, I'm done here. Now i got to sort the freaking, all these freaking bits and pieces out and shit like that and fix up a whole shit like of loaf of decks. So that's going to take a bit of a while, isn't it? So... Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, that's it. See you for whatever it is that I do next.